So today we have a very special guest. Uh, I met him online. <laughs> His, he, he likes to be called the Purple Panther. Um, not sure if he's an actual panther because we let's see we have so we have uh, the pink panther and then we have the black panther. I am the black panther. But nobody knows about the purple panther. I don't know. It seems kind of mysterious to me. But he brought his own car. He absolutely insisted of bringing his own car. And he just really likes the color purple for some reason. And he likes to be called the Purple Panther. But whatever. Um, so, uh, the Purple Panther, or, wait, is it the Purple Panther or just Purple Panther? The Purple Panther. Uh, I like to be called the Purple Panther. Uh, alrighty then. Uh, kind of a creeper, but okay, so, uh, so today you're gonna be doing Exotic GT. And, uh, it's gonna be this race right here. And you, I, it looks like you already brought your own car and everything. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, set that up. Uh, looks like we have to change a few things on it to make sure that it's uh, legal for this race. Uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, we can totally use your car and uh, it should be lots of fun. So while you get down to the pit crew, I'm going to install all your mods. Alright, so let me see here. Uh, I'll give you ABS on, brake line only, and uh, let's give you. Uh, I don't. I think this is a race at night, actually. Wait, let me check again. Yeah, it is a race at night, so we want to go ahead and equip one of those. Uh, let's try this one. What's that we have to say about this? I like. I like. Double you down. You like double down? Because double down gives you more XP, and more XP gives you more money. Well, I'm gonna let's do that on the next race, because we only have two more uses or one more uses out of our tough break and walk the line. Um, uh, so we are at Circuit of the Americas. Where, where's where's this track located? No clue whatsoever. Circuit. <laughs> I actually do have no idea. But uh, should be pretty awesome. Uh, Purple Panther is all ready to go. And he's an actual person this time. He's not a dog inside of a, a, a costume. He's an actual person. I met him online, so he, he must be a, a, a legit driver. He's a man of very few words, but let's see, he, he might be really good. So. Purple Panther. Already getting up there. Oh. Oh, 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 not sure what. Oh, oh. Purple Panther. What happened? Purple Panther. What happened, Purple Panther? Uh, uh sorry about that. I, uh, got a, got a little, uh, too excited there. Alright, well. Looks like you'll just have to, uh. I, you can't really rewind any farther than that, so I just have to, uh. Yeah, there you go. But, uh, Pro Panther, um, I, I, I still don't really know much about you. Uh, what can you tell us about, uh, kind of your background and your history with, uh, race car driving? Uh, I don't know. You don't, you don't know your own... Well, I mean, you have your own car, so obviously you must have some history. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, okay, well... Does Tyrese have any questions for the Purple Panther? Do you throw diapers at your window? No. Well, I'll throw a diaper. No, no, no. Well, I, I think that's only a arthritis fill thing, but... Um, but, uh, okay, so it's a mystery. I, and it sounds like you're a man of very few words, but... It uh, uh, should be... Uh, oh. Buddy's up in fourth place already. Buddy! But... Um, so I, I met so I met Purple Panther online, also from Craigslist. I don't know if uh, our HGN owner is really thrilled about me doing all the uh, uh, human resources, but uh, well, whatever. I mean, it, it seemed pretty awesome at the time. So <laughs> let's see what he has to say about that next week. But uh, Purple Panther. Uh, so nobody really knows about him. And uh, I, I noticed uh, 
He, he just really likes the color purple. I don't know. Are you, are you sure you don't really have any? Do you have any other questions for him? Do you like fried chicken? Does he? Uh, I don't know if he does. I actually don't know what nationality he is because he's got a helmet on, so I can't really. He just really he he likes to wear that uh, purple VIP driver gear. And uh, I, I can't really see his face, but uh, uh, but he's currently in third, and uh, he seems to be doing pretty well. Let's see if he can get podium for us. Uh, so we got one lap down, or just about. Let's see if he can stay on track this time. So far, he seems like a pretty good driver. Um, wish I knew a little bit more about him to uh, see, but he might, I don't know, he might be our regular driver. If he gets podium, we'll have to talk to our HGN owner and uh, see what he says. But uh, he's uh, on vacation this week in his uh, private kingdom. <laughs> He apparently has his own kingdom. I don't know. What do you think about that? I think that, that the purple panther yeah. is about to get a dub. He, he get a what? Get a dub. A dub? What's that? Mean? Win. Oh, a win? Oh, okay. Well. Uh oh. Uh oh, purple panther. Got off track, purple panther. Hey, why don't you go out there and rewind? Uh. Not sure what he was going for there, but... Uh, try to stay, oh, oh, there we go. Just barely. But uh, we are in a Lamborghini... Can't pronounce it. Murky Lago? Do you know how to pronounce it? I, Lamborghini Murky Lago. Yeah, I think that's it. But uh, this car is pretty awesome. It's one of my favorite cars. I, I like how it has really good traction, very good handling, all-wheel drive. Um, you don't really skid very much. Uh, coming out of these turns, uh, it's a very stable car, really good braking. And we're almost up in first. Nice. And he's in first. How do you know? Doing really well for a night race, uh, especially his uh, very first race into our series. Uh, night races tend to be a little bit more challenging for obvious reasons, but uh, seems to be doing pretty well. And uh, I think he just has this last turn here, and then we should have a checkered flag. Tow Mater. Tow Mater? What's that mean? It's a tow truck. A tow truck? Well then, first place. What a win. <laughs> Let's uh, tap into his mic and uh, and uh, see what he thinks. Uh, so, uh, the Purple Panther, uh, how do you feel like you did? I did awesome. Yes, well, you certainly did. Um, you are in first place. Um, let's see where we are. We're still, we are at, uh, I believe, 69. Dumb. Or level 69, rather, in our milestone rewards. Um, we should be, after this race, we should be a little bit over 69 and a half, I believe. Uh, but let's go ahead and check how much we got from our mods. So, a good amount. Over 39,000, so not bad. And, oh, actually almost 69 and three quarters. Okay, very good. So we used up all those mods. We'll probably need to buy more mods, uh, which we will go ahead and do that right now. Uh, so this is a race in the rain. I don't believe we have a race in the rain uh, mod, but let's go no. ahead and uh, use this up, uh, place third or better, and I want to look at his turning a little bit more. Uh, I believe. Oh, actually, we do need to buy more mods. 
Let's go ahead and buy expert mods. Open. Uh, I want a. I'm looking for a perform eight good turns or perfect turns. Uh, oh, there we go. Perform four good turns. Okay. So we'll go ahead and accept. Let's go ahead and buy some master mods too while we're at it. Do the master mods give you master abilities? Uh, well, the master mods are typically harder, and they give you better rewards. Oh. And we have a legendary too, so this will might come in handy if we ever uh, start to get behind in our standings a little bit. That'll come in handy. Okay, so uh, I want to equip the perform four good turns. I think we have a, also a four per, perform four perfect turns as well. Yeah, right here. Uh, but let's go ahead and do good turns, and then I'll probably equip the next one, or the next uh, perfect turns mod in the next race, or at least after we finish using up this one. Uh, okay, so here we go. We are at Silverstone Racing Circuit this time. And it's a nice sunny day. Chicken nugget fried potatoes, scallop potatoes, punch. What? Yes. I wonder if, uh, yeah, if our, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna ask him, I'm gonna ask the, the Purple Panther. Uh, I really still want to learn a little bit more about him. I feel like we should know more about him before we ask him to join in our race. Uh, so let me tap into his mic really quick. Uh, hey, uh, Purple Panther, are you there? Yes. Uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, what do you like to do on the weekends? I like to race. Okay. okay. Um, do you, so do you race on the weekends? Or just the weekends? Or do you race all the time? I race all the time. So you don't really do anything else besides racing? No. Well then. Um, so you must be... Okay, so if you like to race, then that means you must have a lot of experience. Uh, which is good. We need someone with a lot of experience to be our next driver after Authoritis Phil, which is our driver just before you, um, retired. And he, because he's 87, or I think. He's still alive though. He's not dead or anything. He, uh, he's not in the set. He, he joins us in the sound booth now. And he is uh, wherever he is doing today. He's probably hanging out with Packer Friend Dave again. Uh, but, uh, but uh, are you sure you don't? There's nothing else you like to do. You don't like to uh, maybe go see a movie, hang out with friends, or anything like that. No. Do you even have any friends? No. Do you have a mother? No. He doesn't have a. So you had no. Or do you maybe just not know who your mother is? No. Well then, were you created by? Cell I don't think he would. He would be too young. That would be before he could like remember stuff. <laughs> Probably. But uh, doing really good. He has. Uh, he's definitely. He's performed one good turn. So just needs three more. But we're still on our first lap. So I think that the Purple Panther. Yeah. Is gonna do amazing. I think he's gonna get signed, and he's gonna be a big win for us. He's gonna be the home run of home runs. He's yes. gonna make Babe Ruth look like. Well, he's definitely a very focused individual. Uh, we need somebody that's really dedicated to racing, and uh, that I think someone like our uh, HDN racing owner would really appreciate. Uh, so, uh, Purple Panther, um, tell us, still, are we still, I just really want to know, tell us, like, a little bit more stuff, like, where are you from? I am from somewhere. You're from somewhere? So, well, I mean, do you know, like, where you were born or anything? No. You, so, you, do you even, like, know yourself at all? Like, I'm actually kind of curious. But, but well, well, never mind, don't answer that. Uh, it's a mystery. All right. Well, I don't know. What, do you do you have any? What What do you think? 
I think that this man is very estranged and we should check his criminal background. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot to do that. Um, because you know, a man who loves purple too much is wrong about that. <laughs> yeah, so. I probably, I guess I, I kind of failed as a human resources director. And, I, and, and you said you met him on Craigslist, correct? Yes. Oh man, we're in for a good one. It's the only stalker going on Craigslist. Only, only stalker? Well, I mean, he does kind of seem like a creeper. Just by his voice. I, mean, I don't know, he just sounds really creepy. But, uh, but he's doing really well, though. He's in third. And he just now completed our uh, Good Turns mod, so congratulations to him. Uh, now he just has to uh, bust out the rest of this race. And, uh, let's see. What if we asked him something else? Like, I, 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 th I have the feeling he just... He, he really does know where he's from. He just doesn't want to tell us. Because he, you know, he wants to be mysterious and he doesn't really talk very much. I wonder if I give him a cookie if he'll, if he'll spill the beans. You give him a cookie? Yes. Oh, well, um, I guess. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, so I got a question for this. Her. So, Purple Panther, how do you feel about being the the third Panther in the Panther installments? Because you, you you know you got the you got the Black Panther, and you got the Pink Panther. Are are you more special than both of them? Oh, do you mean like of the Panther trifecta? Yes, if you will. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I don't know. I, I actually I have to unmute his mic. Again, oh, just really quick. So you have to. Hold on, let me unmute his mic. Uh, okay, go ahead. So, Purple Panther is how how do you feel about being in last place last place in the Panther trilogy? Because you got the Black Panther and the Pink Panther. Are you better than both of them? Yes. Do you like the Black Panther? Yes. Purple. Uh, I'm, what? A, I'm a huge fan. What, what, why did you name yourself the Purple Panther? Because I like purple. Are you? Would you call yourself a Panther fanatic? Yes. Have you seeked counseling over your Panther addiction? What addiction? Oh my. Oh. Now he doesn't feel like he has an addiction. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> wow. Well, he, first place. Um, well, I think we found our next driver. Um, we'll get to know him a little bit more, I think, uh, as we uh, continue on towards our Forza Cup. Um, but uh, I don't know. He, uh, even though we don't know much about him, I still feel like we could uh, we could really use this guy. I think he will, can get a lot done for us. Um, but uh, so. So, Purple Panther, uh, do you think if maybe more people, like, if you talk more, more people might get to know you more? No. No. Okay. Well. Well then. Uh, <laughs> well, this is awkward. Okay, well, congratulations. You got first place again. Uh, let's go ahead and check where we are. Uh, so, yeah, we got, we're still first overall. Um, let us see here. We should be able to have our next milestone, in which I believe we have the choice between choosing credits, a new Corvette, or a new driver suit. Have you, did you get that driver suit um, trophy yet for having 50? Oh yeah, we got that last episode. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, that was last episode. Uh, so really, I I think the next one is have a hundred suits. And we already uh, have a couple Corvettes, so, so I'm not let's really... let's get the Victory Bandit. That looks kind of Yeah, let's cool. get this one. There you go. Steal first place at any cost. Not going to equip it, um, just because he 
He, he brought his own driver suit, as you can see. And I just, he just really likes purple for some reason. <laughs> but uh, okay, so we got that milestone. Uh, this is for sure a race in the rain. Uh, I really wish we can, um, if we had, a, I really wish we had a race in the raid mod, but unfortunately we do not. Um, let's turn on ABS and let's turn on. Uh, I want to. Oh wait, where's our? Oh, I think okay. Yeah, perform four perfect turns. So I want to see how his turning is, uh, how he performs in the rain. Um, we obviously know that he performs pretty good at night, so uh, this really shouldn't be too hard for him, I don't think. Um, but uh, everything is up. Everything is uh, ready to go. So we are at Circuit de Spa Frank. Franker chaps? Franker chaps! I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I probably should know. Frankor chaps. Okay, so here we go. I guess maybe he just really, maybe he really likes anime. That could be something. Maybe that's why he painted his car like that. Just maybe he's really into anime. Maybe maybe that is one thing he does. I want to I want to ask the Purple Panther something. Okay. So Purple Panther. Yes. What state did you originate from? The Purple Panther, are you there? Oh. Yes. Oh oh, there you are. Um yeah, I don't know if you uh I don't know, it sound like your mic cut out for a second. Uh so what state are you from? Are you from the U S? Oh, you are? Okay, so you do know where you're from. Uh, so, I don't know, uh, what state for you are you from? California. Oh, okay. Well, th there's definitely a lot of... Uh, so, so driving He's from California, I guess, and there's a lot of cars down there, which would explain his uh, whole, like, racing... Oh, uh oh, uh oh, Purple Panther. So driving in the rain is hard for you. He didn't anticipate that turn. Well, let's see, what he, let's see if he can do it. Oh, there we go. Good job, Purple Panther. Uh, okay, so you're from California, and you like racing, obviously, and it looks like you have your own car, uh, a very good car, uh, for that matter, so um, uh, what else What else can you tell us about yourself? I like chicken nuggets. Oh, really? So you like chicken nuggets, so you and, uh, you and uh, Tyrese over here have a lot of cum in there. Maybe. Well then. So would you call yourself a chicken fanatic? I, I just think he likes chicken nuggets. I don't know. I, do you, do you, are you a chicken nugget fanatic? No. Good, because there's only room for one of us. There's, right there's only one. There's only room for one fried chicken nugget yeah, fanatic. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to raise. I don't care about chicken nuggets. I just like to eat them. Good. Good. Well then. But uh, this is, I think this course right here is also one of my favorites that I like watching races on. Um, and he seems to be doing pretty good. He already has two of the four perfect turns done already. Uh, so that's awesome. So now that we know uh, that we need two more, he's, I think he's on pace to get for sure two more by the end of this race when it's over. Uh, this track is, is a little bit longer, so that's why I think there's only two laps. But, but yeah, he's a, I don't know, he seems pretty amazing, actually. I don't know, what do you think? I think that he's a very fantastic driver, but we're going to have to monitor him closely at all times. Yeah, maybe even, like, I don't know, I, I still feel like I... I still feel like there's more that he could tell us, you know? You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we got uh, so we got that oh uh oh Purple Panther Purple Panther uh, uh, sorry about that I got a little excited uh, okay well uh, yeah I don't know break early yeah there you go oh nice well then um, but uh, okay well we're gonna go ahead and mute your mic and uh well, as me and Tyrese talked for a little bit. Uh, okay. 
Um, so, um, let's see. So he's from California. For sure. Um, I think that's all we know. And he likes, oh, he really likes racing, so. Uh, I wonder how much he paid for his car. He was the, or maybe he won it. I don't know, do you think he won it? Somewhere, so. or like he, like he, maybe he's a, uh, Maybe he won it in a drag race or something. Maybe, he, like, it was one of those, uh, like, drag races where you have to basically put up your own car, and if you lose, you, then you lose your car. You ever seen that show, uh, Pink Slip? Or, no, I think it's, no, it was called, uh, it Pinks. Was, it was called Pink Slip. Or, yeah, but anyhow, um, I actually watched that show for a little bit. I'll never forget this one guy. <laughs> um, he was he was like one of the like those really like nerdy mathematical types, and he, he wasn't. And, he, and of course, he had a crappy car, and uh, he he won. He was like crying, not crying, but he was like whining that he didn't get enough car lengths because certain cars, like if you have a uh, one car that's better than the other, you can negotiate for car lengths. And that's how basically, oops, uh oh, uh oh, little panther. Uh, the number of car lanes you can like. Uh, oh, okay, he fell off course again. Uh, uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm back on the track now. Okay. Uh, well, anyways. Um, but yeah, he. Uh, so that there's this. Yeah, this one guy in the shot. He just like, oh, I just need more car lanes. Like, you need to race. <laughs> You're gonna lose your car anyways, why not just, you know, go out with a bang. But what I need. Hashtag Super Day. Let's go. But, uh, we're almost towards the end here, and we now have our four out of four perfect turns, so good job to Perfect Panther. Uh, now he just needs to bust out the rest of this race, get checkered flag, and we should be gold. Drifting. Sweet. That was nice. 850 series points there. Um, let's see. I wonder how many points do we have total? We, let's see, you like the design? Yes. Um, 2100 total. Uh, definitely doing very well. I think we found a new driver. I think we did. <laughs> I like him, he doesn't talk a lot. He, he doesn't talk a lot, he doesn't argue with us. He doesn't throw diapers. And he, uh, yeah, and he doesn't, uh, I don't know, he, but we, we also don't know how old he is either. No, uh, we'll, we'll have to ask him in the next screen. Uh, but 38,000 CR. What if yes. he is 12 years old, but he has a voice modifier? Oh, that's true. That would ex that would actually explain a lot, I, I think. Because if he's 12 years old under there, but he has a thing to change his voice, huh, I don't know. But... Uh, We'll go ahead and keep this uh, perform perfect turns and perform four good turns on and just use those up. Uh, let's unequip tough break. And wait, where are we at again? We are at 30. Rio de Janeiro. This is actually a good race to equip a stay on track mod. Um, let's use this one. Stay on track for race. Give us 90% bonus CR, which we could really use uh, since we're only at 175,000. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and go with this. So we are at Rio de Janeiro. It is a beautiful day, as usual. I don't think we've ever had a really bad day in Rio de Janeiro. No, there have not. But uh, we can start. And 
Here we go. Really, really jumped really too quick off the starting block there. Okay. I think it looks like we're going in reverse track today. This one. Move it, you fool. Get out of my way. Oh. I'm on to you, Purple Panther. I know. I know your true origin. Oh, you know where he's from? You can, like, did you have, like, a national, like, ethnic radar? No, I just know that he is a very big 12-year-old boy with the voice modifier. Oh, I'm calling you out, Purple Panther. You don't know anything about me. Well, that's okay, uh, Purple Panther. Uh, I mean... We actually don't really care how old you are. We just know that you must have a lot of experience, so probably at, at least you got to be at least older than 12 years old. I don't think you're 12 years old. Otherwise, you wouldn't even be able to reach the pedals. I don't think. Or if you could reach a pedal, you couldn't drive like you are now. So I think he is older than 12. Years old. But, uh, Somebody knocked over some guns. <laughs> and besides, he has his own car. A 12 year old couldn't do that. He stole his dad's car. Oh, well, I guess. I, well, He's I guess from you're not California. wrong. California. Yeah, the I guess you're not wrong. The city of angels. A little bit of air right there. <laughs> Hey, Black Panther. What? Do you like Tony Hawk? Yes. Yes. Do you, uh, do you, so do you like the skateboard then? Yes. Okay. Well, that's a start. Um, and you really like anime, I take it. Maybe. Wait. Why are you asking me this? Black Panther? Dragon Ball Z or Naruto? Oh, uh, well, uh, I mean, I prefer Dragon Ball Z. Yes! Oh, wait. Well, I mean, I like Dragon Ball Z, and I'm 36. Shindu! But, I mean, whatever. I don't, but I don't think that's a, I don't think that's really a clue. That's a deal breaker for me. He's my new best friend. Oh, because he likes Dragon Ball Z. And he is likes chickens. Oh, nice. Bumped up to second. Very nice. Doing amazingly, unfortunately, we only have one perfect turn completed, but uh, let's see if we can get to do it here. Got a nice pass right there. I really like his cornering. Uh, I don't know if how he's going to be able to handle in other cars. I mean, this is his own car, so obviously he's very familiar with the controls, how it drives. Um, I think he's just very acquainted with this particular car, but we don't know how he's going to do with other cars. But uh, as far as some of the more advanced vehicles are concerned and more advanced racing, I, I think, yeah, it's going to do pretty good for us, I think. What does the race have to say about this? I think, man, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> oh, come on, that had to have been a perfect turn right there. I guess I you know, some of these turns... Feel like they should be perfect, but I guess I don't know. Maybe there's. I'm wondering if there's maybe a certain criteria, like you have to go in a certain speed still, and you can't skid. Oh come on, that was really good. But yeah, he's just mopping the floor with these guys. 
one more lap after this. I want. Hey, Black Panther. What? Do you watch the NFL? Yes. Who is your favorite team to watch right now? Uh, my favorite team. Chris. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, he cut out his mic. I think he was like, wait a minute. I'm telling them too much information. <laughs> Maybe, uh, I don't know. Should we, should we ask him a trick question? Ask him a trick question. Do you like... Oh, wait, yeah, I gotta turn his mic back on. Okay. Uh, okay, go ahead. Do you like... Famous James? Twist. Also, him and uh, Packer fan Dave uh, have something in common. Okay, so he likes watching football. Um, there is a plot twist going on here. So, he likes football, he likes anime, and drag as well as Dragon Ball Z. Uh, he drives a race car. Uh, he drives during the week. And on the weekends, so he pretty much only does drive. I don't know where he finds time to watch anime and watch football if he's always racing. But whatever, maybe he maybe he watches as he drives. Yes. Like he has a TV monitor in there. I mean, it is a what a two hundred thousand dollar car. He probably is, has his own little TV monitor. I mean, you could put TV monitors in cheaper cars. Yeah. Like, like those stupid Hondas. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, this morning, uh, on our way to the uh, studio, we stopped by for our usual liquid encouragement. And I had never done this before. I had actually... Uh, I, and, and I know this is like one of those things where like you hear somebody doing... But then you've never really—I don't know if anybody's really have it happened to them. I actually paid for the person's coffee behind me. I didn't see who it was. I didn't know who it was, and they couldn't really talk to me to like thank me or anything. I just drove away. <laughs> he was so high. You guys do not understand. <laughs> but so uh, yeah, I've never done that before. So I decided like, oh well. It just kind of occurred to me as I was paying with my debit card. You know, I was like, you know what? I think I want to do it just this one time and see how it goes. <laughs> so also, I can say, I can say how I that I did it. I want I want to know who this purple panther is, where he's from, and why he has your mama. Yo, what? Huh? Yes. Yo why mama. he has your mama? Yeah. I don't get it. Um, it's okay. Well, this is awkward. Very awkward. Um, but, uh, I don't... It looks like we got a 55,000 CR. Very nice. Nice, nice. You get it. And, uh, let's see, just 70 and three quarters, so not bad. Now I took uh, the round. Huh? Boy. Oh, that next driver suit looks kind of awesome. Um, but, uh, let's see. So, let's go ahead and keep our... Wait, where are we at again? Hold on, I gotta check. We are at Suzuka Circuit. Um, let's go ahead and keep that same mod equipped. And we will buy some more. Oops, nope, not that. We're gonna buy some more. Let's buy some master mods. We gotta be careful not to spend too much money because we gotta save up for our next big car that we're gonna get. What um, car do you think you will get? Uh, I'm not sure yet. It kind of just depends on um, what car we need at the time for the next race. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll just figure that out as we go. Um, let's turn, let's use that. Uh, I don't know, he's doing really well. Let's actually use this one. Finish third or better. And that'll give us uh, 
Well, I think it's all of these together will give us 185% boost in our CR, uh, which is good. So, uh, okay, well, we are ready to start. And we are at Suzuka Circuit. It's probably, I think this was a race in the rain. Uh, let me check what it says. I was pretty sure it's a... Oh, never mind. It's a new day. I thought it was a race in the rain. Oops. Race in the rain for some reason. Uh, but this is the second to last race in our recent series. And here we go. So, Purple Panther, uh, getting right up towards the front as he usually does. Because it's still kind of a cluster right at the beginning. Yes. Let's get out of control here. Maybe he has a special strategy in mind. Because usually he gets up pretty quick. I wonder if he's if he's maybe trying to toy with them a little bit. I don't know. What do you think? I think that he's just going to get in their heads, and once he's in their heads, he's just. I'm actually all the, I am very impressed with this trip. Yeah, take that. Uh, oh, he does. He is toying with him. Oh no, he hit us. Oh. Oh, oops, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh man, my car. I paid a thousand dollars for that paint job. That's okay. You make more <laughs> than enough money to fix it. Sure, what you were going for there. Um, so wait, what are you going for? I want to toy with these fools. These fools are no match for me. Well then. <laughs> so he's really getting up there. This fool over here. See this guy? Which one I do Watch this. Yeah, take that. <laughs> That's what you get. Well, unfortunately, uh, Purple Panther, um, you went off track, so we're, now we're not going to have our on track mod equipped. I don't care. It was worth it. Well then. <laughs> um, this guy. Maybe he, maybe he's like one of those where he just he likes to do his own thing. I don't know that 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 could be there. There's there are maybe pros and cons to that. Do you think we're gonna have to worry about him? Um, probably not. I I know. I think I remember uh, our uh, HGN racing owner mentioned that he like if he were to have a football team. He would rather choose a couple of thugs than choose a couple of uh, guys that were just kind of only a little bit good or just enthusiastic about football with not very much talent. So I don't know, maybe. Um, I don't know. He see he's really dedicated. So I don't know. See what he does with this guy. Oh, oh, I thought he was gonna do something there. I guess not. He's trying something out. I know he's kind of neck and neck with this guy. Get out of the way, you fool! Move it. So I always had a question for you. For me? Purple Panther. Oh, for Purple Panther. Oh yeah. So in the in, in you know your 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 racing cars, do y'all have toilets built into the seat or your? 
Because you know, sometimes you gotta. Yeah, like go. how do they go to the bathroom like in the middle of a race? Yeah, they gotta have toilets built in. So do you poop yourself? What do I look like? An adult diaper. Well, we actually don't know what you look like. That's why we're we don't know if you're 87 or if you're 12. So I mean, I don't know. Maybe you gotta go. And... I always go before the race. Silly, stupid question to ask. Why don't you ask that? It's dumb. I am always the consummate race car driver. I always win. Well then. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Sorry about that, I uh, don't know what I was doing there. Okay, well, you haven't, looks like you haven't needed to do that as much as uh, our uh, friend Rufus, R Rufus the dog from last week. I call him Rufus the Doofus. Rufus the Doofus? That's <laughs> a knee slapper. This guy. Guys, let me know. If you want me to put Rufus in the end, because I will, I'll lock him up. No, well maybe, I don't know. I, th I think uh, Rufus, he likes to be, prefer to be paid in bacon, because he's like obsessed with bacon, so if we have him in the studio, he's probably just going to only talk about bacon nonstop. In terms of our uh, mods, we now have our perfect turns equipped. And now we're head to head with this other lender. I, I heard, I heard. Oh, a nice, nice pass. I heard a story about arthritis Phil. Oh, you did? Yes. So, I guess when he was a wee lad, he lived out on a farm. And one morning, his mom was cooking bacon, right? Yeah. And they had a pet pig. His name was Wilbur. Wilbur? He came He came over to to Arthritis Phil and was looking at him like he is hungry. So Arthritis Phil didn't know, and he gave him bacon. What kind of cruel, sick man is Arthritis Phil? Wait. Yes. He, he gave the pig bacon? Oh, oh, wait, I get it. <laughs> like okay yeah that's nice and then everyone happened to look at him and he didn't know he did something like wrong. they looked at him sideways yes and they well pigs they literally will eat anything they will eat their own supply yeah, yeah. would a pig eat an apple yeah of course they would eat an apple they eat their own supply that means they eat anything i know right but bacon. I will never stop. <laughs> I would actually really like to watch a pig eat bacon. And, no, like in real life. If you guys have any videos of pigs eating bacon, send them our way. Yeah, because I'm actually really curious. Or send us a link in the comments to a video that you know of. <laughs> um, but... Uh, Speaking of bacon, we should have our next milestone. <laughs> milestone achieved! Um, okay, we didn't get that mod, unfortunately, but we have 47,000 TR. So not bad. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead. I really like this... Uh, you have to get it. Night of the Round Circuit. <laughs> Travel into a fantasy realm where you'll need to watch for dragons, evil wizards, and rust. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, it rust were in, in some bad places, you know, because they don't have built-in, uh, they don't have built-in toilets back then. <laughs> I think, what, what did they use back then? I don't, I'm actually not sure. You know, they had, to, they had to go on themselves because all that armor took a long time to take off. They go on themselves. Well, um, so I'm gonna use. He's doing really good with. Uh, so Pepper Panther is doing really good in his turns. I'm gonna form eight good turns. And let's also give him probably some sort of improved race rewards while we're at it. Uh, we have the one back there. We also have this one. 
this devil down. I think those are the only two we have, so yeah, we'll go ahead and use this one. This will give us an extra 200% CR if we complete everything, and an extra uh, bonus 1,500 XP. And uh, here we go. We are in Dubai, one of my favorite circuits. Dubai, Dubai. And uh, let's go ahead and get this race started. Here we go. I wonder if he's gonna win again. <laughs> I wonder if the same is it. Look at you fools. He just beat up an Italian man. I think that's very wrong with him. Get out of my way. I have a race to win. Wow, this guy. Mid uh, Nick Nick 67 is, is is on him. He got 69 logo on his car. Jet Soma in first place. Can he hold the lead? The purple panther is gaining on him. No, no. Some of these turns, I can't remember if it was, I think it was, it's either this track or the uh, that Mazda track. I'm pretty sure it's the Mazda one. Anyways, there's this one part where the, the track goes down and makes a sharp turn at the same time. That's, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that one. He's in second place currently. And he's really keeping on pace with this other Lamborghini. He should for sure be able to stay on track for this entire race since it's not really that hard to stay on, I don't think. It's a closed course. Uh, there's a couple parts where it, the track goes into the desert a little bit. Where he could get off track, but so, for the most part, it looks like it's pretty closed. So, how do they keep the sand off of the road? That is a good question. That's a yeah. lot of sand. Well, this part of the track I was talking that part right there, yes. he could get off track there, but it's, for the most part, yeah, it's looking like it's... Uh, is that an airport? Uh, yes. Looks that way. So they got a racetrack in Dubai under the airport. What? Well, I don't know if it's a like a racetrack exactly. I think it's just a road that they turn into a track. But normally there would be other uh, traffic going through here. But because we have a race today, they totally closed everything down. Which I don't know how... If that affects the uh, commerce going in and out of Dubai. I'm pretty sure it's a big inconvenience for a lot of people, but uh, fortunately, Have that's just the way it is. Have you ever been to Dubai, Ryan? No. Would you ever go? I would most definitely go to Dubai. I think there's a lot of very interesting uh, exhibits and uh, excursions to go on to be had. Would you go spelunking? Spelunking? What's that? Cave diving. Oh, cave diving? Yes. I might... Tr I don't know about cave diving. I probably... I might try, uh, like, skydiving. I just... I've never... i just never done it before. Is or maybe I would... I would... Uh, if there was... I don't know if they have a zip line. Somewhere I, I would try zip lining. I did it. Okay, so there was this one time And it actually not at a band camp <laughs> It was at a uh, like a high school camp <laughs> and uh, Can't remember the name of the campgrounds. I went to anyway. They had a zip line there And I think it was I want to say about two or three hundred feet long 
pretty intense. You start off on this, you get into this harness, and you grab onto this, uh, grab on these special handlebars, and you go down this line, but you have to drop something, it was something like 20 or 30 feet first before you really start moving on the zip line. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, yeah, it was like 300 feet long. That was intense. That's probably the most, the like, craziest thing I've ever done. I've never done bungee feel, jumping or anything like that. I feel horrible about my zip lining story. Oh. So, I was a wee lad. I was about seven years old. Uh huh. Or six. And I had a friend next door. Her name was Bailey. And her dad made a homemade zip line from a tree to their house. <laughs> okay. And Bailey. You see, I'm a strong guy. They say I have card strength. But at seven years old? Yes, yes, I was still very strong at seven. Okay. And, you see, she wanted me to push her with the zip line. Uh -huh. Give her a little boost. And it turned out that boost sent her plummeting towards her house. <gasps> and she was going so fast, if she would have jumped off, she would have broke her leg, but... She, she, hit, she hit where the zip line stopped, and she did this little flip, and she broke her arm. And oh. I felt so bad. And I ran, because she just laid on the ground crying. I was a bad friend, and I didn't know what I did, so I ran. So uh, you're talking in your southern accent, I noticed. Yes, so I am. You were, you were southern at the time? Yes, yes, you had a, yes. Oh, oh. So you were talking in your southern accent. Yes. To, to better tell the story, because you were, oh, I see. <laughs> well, anyways, we, we eat fried alligator down there. Fried alligator? Yes. Ew. It tastes like chicken. No, it doesn't. Alligator. Fried alligator? Yes. No, alligator it tastes like chicken. This guy over here. Um, but uh, so we got podium, first place. Uh, every single race, I think our HG and owner will be very pleased. I wonder what else we get to do now. We definitely have. A lot that we gained um, CR and XP. Forty-five thousand. I was just over. And uh, wow, he really got a lot for us. I think yeah, found our new driver for sure. I like that suit right there. Okay, well I'm gonna uh, uh, turn on uh, Purple Panther's mic really quick. Hey, uh, so Purple Panther, are you there? Yes. Uh, so we wanted to congratulate you uh, for getting podium winning first place. You are now officially our new driver. What do you think about that? That's great. I consider it an honor. Thank you. I I'm, I'm, can't wait till next week. Well, cool. Well, uh, anyways, next week uh, you will be doing uh, the Forza P2. And uh, it's definitely right up your alley. Unfortunately, I don't think you have your own car, so we have to get one for you for this one. But uh, until then, uh, if you guys enjoyed, click like and share, subscribe if you're new. And we will see you guys next time. <laughs>